I'm getting ready to deploy to provide some ham radio communications for a uh, bicycle ride this weekend. And I always like to take this Coleman cooler with me, except it doesn't have pop or ice or water in it. It's been modified a bit. Let me show you. You can see here on the side, it's got an AC outlet on it and a switch to turn that AC outlet uh, on and off. If we turn the back around, you can see uh, in between the handle and above the wheels, you can see some Anderson power poles, those little red and black connectors. Um, those are a standard used in uh, ham radio emergency communications. They're genderless and they, they're for 12 volt power and they're really, really handy. And then you can also see that I have a 12 volt auxiliary, um, you know, typical power port. Uh, so I can run other items like a cell phone charger or other uh, gadgets. Let me show you inside what I've done. Hey, first thing you'll notice is there's a 55 amp hour uh, battery inside. That's a 55 amp, uh, I believe it's an AGM battery. And uh, I've got that hooked up uh, to those Anderson power pole and the 12 volt port. And it also goes to this Best Tech inverter. I found this little uh, inverter online, I think through Amazon or eBay. It's a little 150 watt. I just wanted something small and just something small enough to run like a laptop, right? 150 watts, I can run a laptop. So that's what that's for. You'll notice on these terminals, I've got two sizes of rings. I've got the bigger size that go to this size of a battery. Then I've got the smaller size for like a 33 amp hour AGM or a 35 amp hour AGM. There's some batteries that take that. That way I'm prepared that I can swap in and out the two battery size that I'm used to using. Um, one other feature of this, you can see uh, where these red wires are down there. That's one of those automotive fuses. I've got to figure out a good way to attach that. I've got to rivet it in there. But anyway, that's got that's where my power runs to, and that's a 20 amp kind of circuit breaker. So if I get a short or anything, that will trigger and it'll shut off. And instead of having to replace a fuse or get caught without a fuse, that will just uh, reset itself uh, once the short's taken care of. And the best part about this thing is those wheels and this handle, so I can uh, roll it out to where I need it. Now the other part of my deploy power package is this Goal Zero solar panel. This is one of their models. I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but it was foldable. It's 30 watts, so 15 each panel. Harbor Freight sells something similar, but it's only 15 watts. Uh, but I've got one of those too, and I really like it. So the, the, the charge control, or the, the Goal Zero, it's foldable, it's got these handles, it's rugged. I can throw it in the back of the vehicle and I don't have to worry about it being real fragile. One of the things that the, that the panel comes with is it comes with like a, a DC barrel connector off of it, right? Well, I use Anderson power poles, so I built myself an adapter. I basically found out that Goal Zero had an extension cable. It's just a long extension cable. Had this end on one and a female end on the other. So I just plug in, I plug in the panel to that. And then what I did is I split that cable in half, well, not quite half, and I took it to some Anderson power poles, but yet I still have this on the end. That way, if I ever get into other Goal Zero stuff, I can still use the panel how they've got it designed. The other thing that I, I added to it is a charge controller, a solar charge controller. Now in theory, I could hook this panel directly to a battery. But I like to use these charge controllers, and you'll notice it's got places for um, three sets of wires. And uh, one of them is for the solar panel coming in. You can see that. So you connect the solar panel to the one on the left. The one in the middle is where you connect the 12 volt battery and then your load. So if I was hooking up my ham radio, I would hook that here or other things. I could um, uh, use this. The nice thing about this is uh, it will sit there and charge the battery even when you're using it and it can help supply some current. So it's a great th addition to have to, to a solar panel. This is a heavy duty metal one. It's a sun saver. I've seen these quite frequently on houseboats in Utah uh, and RVs and things like that. Um, I've also seen some on eBay, the plastic ones that come out of China. I've actually bought one of those and I haven't given it a try yet, but I'm gonna put it through its paces uh, this summer and we'll see how it works out. It was about uh, it was about $15 compared to one like this, which was, I can't remember at the time I bought it, three or four years ago, I think it was around 60 bucks or more, it may have even been more than that. Anyway, that's my setup.